Here's a quick little video and answer to the question my dad had when he gave me a call. It's specifically about Microsoft Word. Go ahead and roll it. Now, if you have a document that you've created and there are a lot of changes, then you can track changes during that document or maybe somebody sent a document to you that had a lot of changes made to it. Really quickly, I'll make a change from ground beef to ground sirloin. And you'll notice that that change pops up on the right hand side and it essentially creates a new margin. If I were to print this right now, it would print out the document with all of those changes. But let's say I need to go through the document, accept or reject the changes and send it back to someone. To do that, I can either click the little right arrow next to accept and say accept all changes in document or I can go to the little arrow next to reject and say reject all changes in document. If I need to go through a long document and actually review the changes and accept or reject them, then I can click them one at a time or I can click say accept and move to next. I can accept them, reject them and move through the whole document. Once that's done and all the changes have been taken care of, that margin on the right hand side will go away. Now make sure that comments are also gone through and deleted or removed because if there are still comments but no changes, you'll have a right hand side margin. So once that's complete, you can go ahead and turn tracking changes off. Any changes you make won't create that new margin and you can send it back. Go ahead and give us a call next time or email me if you have any more questions.